Can I come in? Yes, come in. Good afternoon. Please Good afternoon. sit down, Ms. Dubedi. You're from UP or now? Yes, sir. I was born in Lucknow. You were not. Where do you live? In Lucknow, sir. Lucknow. Shani Abad. Yes, sir. Why do you wish to join civil service? Sir, civil services, because I believe the scope and the level of impact this service has is uncomparable and a direct contact with the public. Sir, when comes the point of security, both the constitutional security as well as the financial security. And I believe that if you work honestly with integrity, there wouldn't be any problem in this country. It's a very What qualities will you bring to this job? So the first and foremost quality would be that of hard work and second would be sympathy or if I may emphasize uh, a okay. sense of empathy. Right. Anything else you can think of? So dedication and that would come under hard work. Oh. Work with good dedication. Right. So this is your first attempt? No sir, this is my third attempt. Third attempt? This what happened in the previous attempt? Sir, first two attempts I couldn't clear up in the exam. Well, in second. Ms. Gunjal, yes, you have heard of the Right to Information Act. Yes, sir. Now, uh, what would you say were the major objectives of this act? So, the major objective of our, the RTI Act was to increase transparency okay. and the increase awareness when it comes to the citizens. Okay. Yes, now, uh, what is the procedure which has been prescribed for getting information yes, under the RTI? The people have to file an RTI application and there is a nominal fee for okay. uh, certain section of the people and I th I believe for poor people it is for free. Yeah. And then there is a, a time period that if it is an urgent case, the information mm. has to be provided within 48 hours. 48 hours in case of uh, life and death is concerned. Yeah? But tell me, are there any uh, exemptions under which the a government department can deny you information? Yes, there are a few exceptions, specifically in the case of national security. National security, personal information, yes. relations with the foreign relations, all those kinds of things are there. Then there are certain organizations, are any, is any organization of the government exempted from the RTI Act completely? Sir, uh, the cabinet board meetings, are, uh, no, that comes under the exemption clause. I am saying, are there any organizations of the government who, which are exempt from the purview of the RTI? Sir, I am able to recollect, but if you want, yeah. let me try. Yeah, tell me if you. Sir, will. there is an issue that the Supreme Court does fall under the purview, but it fails. No, basically, intelligence agencies. That intelligence agencies uh, and uh, are exempted, except they say that, except where violation of human rights or corruption is concerned. So which means if you are seeking information say from the intelligence bureau, if it relates to their reporting or anything which they have given, then that will be exempt. It will be an exempt organization. But if it relates to a violation of human rights violations or uh, relates to, the, to uh, the, the corruption, then the organization is obliged to provide the information. Now, uh, the uh, if you have seen the papers last several days, uh, some some people have filed a petition in the Supreme Court against appointment of information commissions. Have you read about it? Sorry. Okay, sure. Okay, now there is a Central Information Commission also. Yes. What is the role of the Central Information Commission? Sir, uh, central. It's under the RTI Act itself. Yes, sir. Sir, that would be a guess. Okay, sure. Okay, now uh, on the Lokpal issue, what are the directions of the Supreme Court? Very recent directions, uh, giving a deadline uh, for. Uh, so, what is the issue involved? Why is this delay happening? So, the delay is that the Lokpal is not being uh, appointed. True. This is the top. So, so, what are the directions that the Supreme Court has given recently? Any idea? Sir. Uh, okay. Uh, the uh, the Lokpal is to be ultimately appointed by a 
selection committee. Selection. Who are the members of the selection so committee? It is the prime minister, the leader of the opposition, mm -hmm. the speaker, and the chief justice. And the uh, eminent jurors. Five, five members are there. Okay. Right. Have you heard of a term called extradition? Yes. What is that? Sir, ext extradition means asking another through a treaty. Yeah. Uh, the other country would let a person who is in conflict with the law to, to, come, be, to yeah. be uh, allowed to come in India. So, so is it a judicial system. process or is it a political request? Sir, it involves, it is a political process, it is a political process. Not a judicial process? Sir, think of, think of Vijayawalya, what's happening? It, definitely, it is, a, it is a judi, yeah. it is both ways. It is a judicial, primarily a judicial uh, activity, isn't it? After all, Vijay Malia's case, he had challenged it, it in the, if the city, but in the magistrate's court in, in the UK. So that is how it works, right? Okay. Recently, certain students of the Jawaharlal Nehru University were charged with sedition. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. What was the reason for this? Sir, so the reason given was that they were, uh, there were certain slogans which were anti national slogans. Anti -national yeah. slogans. But they, uh, what did the, what was the occasion when they organized this event? The name of Afzal Guru is coming up. Who is Afzal Guru? So Afzal Guru was, uh, he was involved in the parliament in okay. attacks. Yeah. So and hanged. And he was hanged. Right. And during that occasion. Yeah. So it was in remembrance of this uh, event that they had organized this rally. That is why this thing. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You were president of the college. I'm president of the college hostel. <coughs> so what activities were you involved with as president? My for, foremost task was monitoring and coordinating all the activities. The various activities that were there in the hostel were a little bit cultural activities. Like during many uh, festivals or occasions, we used to organize little competitions, poetry competitions. The major event of the hostel was uh, a guest night where we were allowed to invite our friends and relatives. Now you've written hobbies, drawing, mandalas and journaling. What is this? And draw mandal literally it means a circle. So mm -hmm. basically it's a drawing involving concentric circles. Mm -hmm. A crude example. Freehand? Freehand? Freehand as well as we do use equipment. So okay. it depends from person to person. A crude example would be Rangali patterns. Okay. And journaling? What are journaling? Ma'am, uh, basically it is journal entries. Journal entries? Yes. But because I follow a specific technique of journal writing, which is called the bullet journal method. <coughs> said two years back. So that is why. So uh, bullet journaling means uh, writing it in point forms? Yes. Actually, bullet, there are several bullets, and every bullet has its own meaning. For example, a dash would mean a task, a circle would mean an event. So, like, it helps you organize your thoughts and activities. Okay. Also, you've written your work for women development. What was the work you did here? And I was a volunteer in the Women Development Centre. So this was part of the NSS, NSO? Yes, ma'am. It was a part of the NSS. Mm -hmm. And specifically for which I played a part was a collection drive. Mm -hmm. It was held on a voluntary basis because I was the president of the hostel. So I ensured that everybody in the hostel who wants to uh, donate something. So you got so many hobbies and impressed. What exactly is the role of hobbies in your life? Um, hobbies, this, the two hobbies that I have mentioned, mm -hmm. in this phase of preparation, it has helped me to stay calm and composed. To stay the relaxed? Yes. Recreation? Recreation, definitely. Yes. Three hours. Okay. Now, uh, you are from UP. Yes. One hears of the climate distress. So, what is the government doing to meet the problems of the farmers? And the first and foremost, the most short term mm -hmm. measure that the government adopted was a farm loan waiver. Non loan waiver. Yes, Do you farm. think it's good politics or is it good economics? Well, I would say it is bad politics and bad economics. But they, they get their votes, so it's not bad politics, it's good economics. But in the long run, it becomes unsustainable. Okay. What else? Uh, it, is, it is just a suboptimal solution mm -hmm. because it checks farmer suicide mm -hmm. and it provides. Uh, Little income support to them, but it is not, it is not a sustainable But the it loan is, which has been taken is not taken by the small plant farmers, so it is the big farmers. So the small farmer still uh, has to support the problems. Yes, Although there were certain restrictions laid that who all would be allowed to uh, avail this farm loan waiver, mm -hmm. 
the major problem it creates is that of a moral hazard. Mm -hmm. like what about so those as a schemes? which are similar to a loan waiver but not loan waiver. Two of the states are uh, talking about it. They haven't implemented it but the schemes are going to come up. Are you aware of these schemes? Yes, mm -hmm. One is uh, the Rare Bandhu scheme of Telangana, which is the input support right. model, income mm -hmm. support model. Mm -hmm. one. And the second is recently the Odisha. Mm -hmm. It is called Kalia. Odisha has a culture of the income augmentation. How has bank and house water affected the farmers? Ma'am, uh, has it affected the farmers? Ma'am, it hasn't. How uh, about As an alternative to farming, mm -hmm. a lot of them used to keep cows, mm -hmm. and there is a certain age till which cows uh, uh, provide milk mm -hmm. to a profitable level, mm -hmm. beyond which farmers used to sell them in the Houses yes. through which they used to earn their income as well. Yes. Now that is not allowed. Mm -hmm. Butcher mm -hmm. houses and the slaughter houses have been shut down. So, what do they do with those cows? It becomes very expensive for them to take care of them. So, they are just leaving them straight. Mm -hmm. so this the, is uh, a major problem. Yeah, so what after India is Yes, yes. So the cows are also becoming? Yes, it's, a become, it's becoming more of a nuisance mm -hmm. out in the streets as well as for the farmers because now they are even eating away their. Uh, produce crops. Yes. Okay, you lived in Delhi for some time. Yes. So, suppose <coughs> I asked you to suggest anything which you think would make Delhi a safer place for women. What steps would you suggest? And may I take a yes. second? Any practical steps? Yes. The first, the most practical step mm -hmm. is to increase the patrolling. Okay, good. Nowhere it should be petroleum. Just give me the steps. The second step that would be a long term would be to increase the civic sense. Despite the fact that this is the capital, there are several reasons because of immigration mm -hmm. that people don't have civil sense. The third is ensuring that whosoever is convicted doesn't escape punishment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Justice. So Speedy justice. What else? These three and what I Don't you think crime takes place where there are dark spaces? Yes, that's why so I like mentioned. Light. 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 Okay. Yes. And uh, pollution. Cameras and CCTVs. Yes. Pollution is another major factor. What can be done to bring down pollution levels in, in Delhi? In Delhi, we should promote public transport. Mm -hmm. Like I saw today, there are a lot of there were a lot of cars. It was just a single person okay. driving. All right, fine. Public transport. Reason of a, a car a car pool. Okay. Uh, one initiative was laid down by the government, which was odd even okay. scale. All right. Which was a good, but it created its okay. own hazards. Okay. Second would be all the construction activities that are there. They should be regulated. No open uh, dirt piles. And third would be. The industries that are there inside Delhi, maybe they could be they shut down be for a they should specific be period. Yes, ma'am. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Each of doing business. From where this concept originated? It's a World Bank concept, and they bring out a ranking of different countries. Yes, sir. And on that, um, on the basis of the ranking, where does India figure? So India is on the 77th. So. Oh, 77. Which marks an improvement over the earlier ranking. Yes. Earlier we were around 100, so I think we were more okay. What are the factors that have contributed to this? Sir, uh, one very important reason was the way India conducts its trade across ports, easy clearances, the facility of easy clearance. Second was construction permits. Now they are available at a very short span of time. Uh, GST and IBC, although they are very good move, I don't think so they accounted for this. Uh, IBC, yes. But the, the the specifically in this report, it was not taken account. Yeah, it, so. it is still in that traditional yes, yes. phase. So but, but it will improve India's ranking. It will improve. So these two are not taken into account. Tax administration has also. So GST and pension. Okay. Uh, international relations. Is one of your subjects, right? Yes, sir. Venezuela is in the news. What is happening there? So, Venezuela is going through an economic crisis. What happened? The leader, a member from the opposition. Is that the, 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 the economic crisis? Can't be the immediate context. 
Yes. Um, the crisis, so right? the immediate crisis is uh, one of the opposition members it said that uh, uh, he declared himself as the interim president and he was backed by the support of the United States and several European countries. Yes. On the other hand, the initial precedence of Maduro, mm -hmm. he said that this is unconstitutional and I stand to be the president. So basically a failed coup. Um, it can't be, it's not a coup, but uh, of course I think there is a convergence of international... Uh, yes, international. And today if you have read the newspaper, President Trump has announced certain measures. Yes, you haven't gone through that. Okay. Yes. Uh, something different. What is the role of NHRC? The National Human Rights Commission. So safeguarding the human rights of the citizens. What are human rights? So human rights are certain inalienable rights that every human being has by the virtue of being a human. And uh, NHRC is it a judicial body? What kind of powers or authority it has? It has a power of a civil court and uh, it has to take up the matter in a span of a year for the occurrence. Like the role of police has undergone certain change over the years. In what way? What kind of change has come in the role of the police? Sir, I am unable to understand. No, say about 100 years back, the role of the police or even before independence, I am sure it has undergone a lot of change. So, that is, police was there to promote, to safeguard the interests of the British people. Right. Basically, police it was used as a force. And here it was used more as a force, but now the development role and the yes. this concept of service is, is also gaining. Are you familiar with an institution called National Security Council? Yes. What exactly? What are the uh, what is its role and what? Sir, it provides a security framework for the country. Security policies that is what it. Okay, and it comes under which ministry? Not ever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Demonetization. We were referred to demonetization a couple of years ago. And what were the objectives of demonetization? So, the major objective was to curb black money. The second was uh, the counterfeit currency. Right. Terror financing, yes. I think these are the three. In relation, in relation to these objectives, have they been met now that two years have passed? Yes. What is your assessment? Sir, the foremost benefit of demonetization was the, the amount of money which was hidden as black money. It has come back in the economy. Now the taxes are being paid for it. So this is the advantage. Second is that it has given a boost to e commerce. But uh, if I argue that the, the earlier black money has now become white money, so to that extent, uh, you know. Sir, but it has come back in the economy now, the taxes would be paid for it. It is not that it was just brought in, in the economy without paying the taxes. taxes but were paid other for than it. that, any other advantage that it has resulted in? Sir, yes, sir, like I mentioned, sir, digitalization, e commerce has been given up. And the tax base is widened. The number of income tax pays. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, central government gives a lot of subsidies. Are you aware of um, what are the subsidies given by the central government? What are the major subsidies given? There is also there was an attempt to target the subsidies to the beneficiaries. DBT. Yes. DBT is given in the respect of what? So it is given in respect of uh, uh, yeah, no. Thank you. You read newspapers? Yes, sir, I read newspapers. Sorry, I couldn't read newspapers. Alright, never mind. Name some important issues in the international arena and in the national sphere which you consider are, are uh, hot, hot topics. So in the international arena, uh, if you talk about region specific issues, in the West Asia, 
In the West Asia, Trump has announced that the troops would be gradually withdrawn from Syria and Afghanistan. Second, when it comes to Europe, the Brexit is a major issue. When it comes to uh, North America, the recent issue which involved uh, the arrest of the Chinese uh, Dubai CEO from Canada, CFO. Has, created, yes, a CFO mm -hmm. has created a major Quite. issue in the international with reference to the trade. Mm -hmm. Venezuela? So is Venezuela, Venezuela becoming a problem? A major issue? Yes, sir. Venezuela has the largest oil reserves and the economy is suffering badly. It's not that. The issue is something different. The issue is how America is looking at the internal situation that has created a real crisis. Mm -hmm. You know what is good governance? What are the uh, features of good governance? The timely implementation. No. no, it's a World Bank concept. Very well defined features. Are you aware or not? Yes, what is UP's growth rate? Around 3.2%. No, you must check. So 6.4, it's not so bad. And in Human Development Index, where does it stand among uh, union territories and states? No idea. You know, there is a lot of talk of universal basic income. You think this is a feasible uh, thing? Sir, it would definitely have a lot of money. Uh, <coughs> a lot of money, cost. and if you have a lot of money. Is that so? No, sir, on the government I meant. No, the the government has a lot of money. It doesn't have a lot of money, but it would be a good measure. So, what are the things which are being talked about mostly in respect of UBI? Sir, the issue was proposed by economic survey, like economic survey dedicated a specific uh, It is a very it. serious, uh, now, yes, sir. It's a, uh, government is giving it very serious thought, Niti Ayo is giving it some thought, uh, Rahul Gandhi has said yes, that sir. we will provide income, yes, but the question is how do you implement it? So are you reading reports on it? Yes sir, I have read about uh, UBI recently. So, those are the reports, do they make sense to you? You haven't given thought to it. No? Sir, I am aware of you. Alright, alright, doesn't matter. You know, poverty has a definition in India. Yes. Which uh, committees uh, defined poverty in the recent years in India? Sir, it was a Rangarajan committee. That was the latest. Before that was Tendulkar. Tendulkar. Do you know what was the parameter which they fixed? as to people who are earning this much of money or who have the capacity to spend so much of money will be yes. below the poverty line or above the poverty. What is the Tendulkar limit? I'm sorry sir. I'm no? Sir, it was around 32 rupees for uh, urban areas. It would be against sir. Yeah, you are almost right for urban area 32. And uh, rural? Rural it was 27 or 29. 27. A little 27.2 or something. And uh, Rangarajan? Sir, it increased the amount to 33 and 43. Like 47. 47. 47. For urban areas. 47. So, uh, how many, what percentage of, of the population, according to Rangarajan committee, came under the below the poverty line? Sir, it was 29.5%. 29.5, very good. And uh, Tendulkar? 22%. 22%. Uh, which of these is being considered by the government for UBI? Sir, then we'll cut. Then we'll cut. Quite right. You know the concept of separation of powers. Who propounded this? Theory? It was the uh, United States of America. No, I think uh, Montesquieu. Yeah, Montesquieu. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, now, does India have a separation of powers? Sir, uh, we have. When it comes to the legislature and the executive, there is a cordial relationship, but there no, is separation not of power. Do we have officially separation of powers yes, in our constitution, in our scheme? Yes. Because we have, yes, right? You know basic structure concept? Yes, sir. Name three most important or four most important basic features which cannot be altered or tampered with. So the secular framework? Rule of law, separation of powers, and 
and uh, distribution of powers. Hmm? Distribution of powers between the center and the center. No, there's nothing like distribution. Anyway, you need to check. Most important are federalism, separation of powers, parliamentary form of government, independence of judiciary. Then come all these things which you are saying, you know, rule of law and things. Who said this nasty, human nature is nasty, brutish in short? Sir, which uh, political thinker? Sir, it was uh, Hobbes. In what context? In the context of state of nature. Hmm? State of nature. Nature. Yes. And what did he prescribe? What form of government? Absolute form of government. Absolute. Yes, sir. The Leviathan. All right. What is Westphalian Treaty? So the Westphalian Treaty, uh, the year 1648, it laid down the concept of sovereign nation states. Right. Uh, Supreme Court is seized of a matter currently which bill concerns Uttar Pradesh. Two matters rather, which concern of the British. Name those matters. Two cases are before, important cases are before, in regarding you. Bavri Masjid? Yes, the Bavri. And 1100 police encounters. Both have come up before the Supreme Court. Now we close the interview, I'll give you a little feedback. Yeah. You want to show? Yeah. As many as. <laughs> now, most of the questioning we do would be based on the biodata that is there. Then on current affairs, constitutional issues and Supreme Court judgments or issues pending before the Supreme Court. Okay. So these are the areas where you must step in. 19 February, we still have about 19 days, 20 days. We should work hard. Work seven eight hours a day and prepare for it. Political science, refresh your knowledge. So is international relations. In international relations, I think you should also think of some major initiatives which the government of India is taking. For instance, Neighborhood First, Act East, our relations with China, Pakistan, with Afghanistan. Afghanistan. These are some of the important things. Indo-Pacific region, is a subject. Next is UP, Uttar Pradesh. Problems of Uttar Pradesh, you were asked a number of questions. Huh? Farmers distress, load waivers. There can be also this cow slaughter, what havoc it is causing. I told you two cases which are pending before Supreme Court. Its growth rate, Why its human development indices are so low? Hmm. That is about you. Then come your uh, extracurricular activities like drawing, mandalas, journals. You were a secretary of political science department, and huh? so political science becomes your important subject. Uske baad aapko dekhna current affairs. So you have asked your Lokpal extradition. CVC, you saw current affairs mein hai? So, we also asked you about UI, Venezuela, you also said that these are important issues, Brexit, etc. Then we asked you some questions about ease of doing business, police role, national security council, demonetization, etc. DBT. Not Talking of DVT, some question can be what are the important achievements of the NDA government? In which you can name the Ujjwala scheme, Pahal, Ujjwala, DVT scheme, it has saved about 80,000 crores, Jan Trinity. 
उन गवर्नर जरा पढ़िए अच्छा तो आपका पॉलिटिकल साइंस का सब्जेक्ट है ए क्वेश्चन कैन बी इफ यू आर मेड अ कलेक्टर समवेयर हाउ विल यू ब्रिंग अबाउट गुड गवर्नेंस सपोजिंग इट्स अ सिचुएशन क्वेश्चन व्हिच यू कैन गेट देन वी केम टू सम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल इशू लाइक सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर्स बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड हाउ गो थ्रू आवर जरूर देखिए एंड एंड देन देयर आर सर्टेन अदर एरियाज वेयर I think you should also work. Like, how much hunger prevails in India? Hunger, malnutrition, what are the facts? And what is the government doing about these things? Hunger, malnutrition, poverty, unemployment. These are the four important basic things. And what are the government's efforts to alleviate these problems? Right? If you do this, then you will have enough material. और सिस्टमेटिकली पढ़ना आपको एक घंटा पॉलिटिकल साइंस एक घंटा इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन एक घंटा अखबार पढ़ना है एक घंटा अपनी हॉबीज आधा घंटा हॉबीज पर दीजिए इकोनॉमी के ऊपर दीजिए थोड़ा ये जो इम्पोर्टेंट यू बी आई वगैरह देन यू विल सी बीच टाइम यू रिक्वायर नॉलेज दैट इज वॉट विल गिव यू दॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट इट इज नॉलेज विच विल गिव यू रियल अट्रैक्शन यू सी राइट एवरीथिंग एल्स इज इन योर फेवर यू हैव वेरी प्लीजिंग नाइस पर्सनैलिटी यू कैन स्पीक वेरी वेल स्ट्रेंथ इन योर नॉलेज दैट इज द रियल सीक्रेट गुड लक subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get latest updates on upcoming videos